And you'd be like, ooh. I'd be like, ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> All right, so let's, ooh, get into this. You know. Yo, so check it out. We gotta clean all of this in a second. But the fridge is stocked up, now. I can put a couple more things up in there, but we got my little coffee cream right there. Oh yeah, I still got that cheese, man. I gotta put that on uh, so many lotes. The uh, almond breeze. Some sauces. More sauces. Sauce pack. Oh shit, I got yogurt. Yeah, that's it right there. Some Kool-Aid. Pepsi in the back. That's it for that. That's it, man, for my little mini vlog for now. Movies or whatnot, kids. All right. It's a beautiful day. Today we just having a drink bang. <laughs> That'd be whack as hell, huh? What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Oh, yeah, that's right. We ain't got no more uh, plastic straws. That's cool, though. We're doing A and W today. Oh, a and W. That's got to be one of the best tasting root beers on the planet, dog. All right, you guys got to forgive me for the presentation because the delivery dude decided he wanted to put half his butt cheek on my fish sandwich. Not cool, dude. It's not cool, dude. What the bug is happening to me, dude? <laughs> All right. Man, I've been craving some burgers. I love NW, but I think my favorite spot, I got to try some more burgers from them, though. It's called The Burgers Priest. I think it's exclusively Canadian. I think so. So, we'll get right into it. So, I got some onion rings right here. Some ketchup on the side. Oh, you know what I need? I need some Sam Yang. I need some, yeah, I need some Sam Yang. Okay, but let me show you what I got here first before I go do that. So, I got the, I know it don't look that great. Because I had to reheat it. But this is the double team. So it's got two patties, bacon cheese, onion, tomato, lettuce. Onion rings right here, like I said before. And then I never had this. This is the cod sandwich. So I'll take it out. Show you guys. This is the cod. So this is the fish sandwich. And this was the one that got smashed, man. Somebody on sat on it. Because I got it delivered. But it's all good. You know what? I'm thankful. We're about to get it in. And I'll be right back. And I'm back on the attack like a straight Mac. What up, though? Hey, look, I'm super excited, dude, because I hit my 8K. We did it, y'all, and I appreciate all y'all, and I'm thankful. I'm excited. I'm trying to get it to them did double digits, man. <laughs> all right, so they made these onion rings hella salty, but I'm not complaining because I know when I hit it with the ketchup is sweet, right? So... Mm-hmm. I'm gonna go straight in, y'all. Let me let me spread her out right quick. <laughs> Put the fish over here. Y'all see that? That's gonna have to work right there. Alright. So yeah, A and W. Have you guys ever had A and W? Let me know, let me know, let me know. Well, I know we're going to have the ketchup police out there. So I'll, just to be nice, I'll put the ketchup right here instead of sprinkling it all over the onion rings. As you get some people, but most of y'all, most of y'all are straight G's, you know? You come through, you show love, you shed light on my channel. It's a blessing to have you. You leave me some cool comments, man. And then you get the two or three little chumps, weirdos that come on and say some random stupidness. I ain't got nothing to do with nothing. You know what I'm saying? You take the time out to come say some dumb stuff. You know, I usually clown back, but I said, you know what? 
I said I'm gonna just I just won't clap back whatever um I, I've been singing this song all day coronavirus <laughs> but Cardi B is a fool for that <laughs> she is fine as hell too but she's hella funny though she's cute Cardi B's cute I, I used to can't stand her I couldn't stand that girl but now she cool all right we gonna go in on the team burger i'm gonna give y'all a bite i'm probably gonna end up dipping it too oh like quantrass says super pump for this mm-hmm mm-hmm You can see that um, river of pain leaking over here on my uh, under it. Mm. I got a request shout out. I think she's a new subscriber. Her name is Amanda. Amanda Rash. Shout out to you, Amanda Rash. And shout out to Watch D. She's a fellow mukbanger of mine. Friend of mine. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. She's a little dipsky. Yeah, it's nothing like craving a real delicious burger and actually getting it. Sing some dramatic man to be like a <clears throat> like a wheel whirling round and round rolling down a hill spinning on the ground <laughs> your kisses make me dizzy yeah in the head oh yeah <laughs> and i'm bowling 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 but y'all know about that Oh man, this burger's hitting. I gotta keep my burger <clears throat> in this little pouch because she leaking. And I don't want to waste none of her juice. She banging. Oh yeah, she banging. So I'm doing some research <clears throat> and shout out to Glow for this post man she put a post up and I went digging behind it I know it looks like they found some fossil oh, 
I found a fossil of a baby dinosaur. Oh, I don't know if it's a baby, but a dinosaur, a bird dinosaur the size of a hummingbird. Skull. I found a skull of it. And this skull was, um, I remember Jurassic Park was in that, like that sap. Well, they said amber. They said it was in, like frozen in amber. Anyway, I thought that was pretty cool. You need to get bigger drinks, and W. Cause I'm like ripping right through this milk man. And the sauce. Last bite for the team burger, the double team. This burger was banging. My favorites on my recommenders for the, today's mukbang. So we got the holographic universe. And I skimmed through it and it's a really good read. <clears throat> but you gotta focus on that. Just Google it, look it up, and you'll see. The author is Michael Talbot. Or we got Talbot. And we got classic slash reflex. We got Jay Safe, Friday 13th. We got a homeboy, Mikey Myers from you know Halloween. Now uh, several years ago, they put out Jason vs. Freddy, and I still have that movie, and I still watch that movie, and I love that movie. I think I'm like a little child, man, that gets excited <clears throat> when he gets like, you know, like 20 bucks to go buy some toys when he's young, when I see stuff like that. That awesome collab with Jason vs. Freddy. I was so sick. And they're supposed to be making a part two. They better be making a part two. Um, God. Excuse me. But I want to see them bring my two boys together. Don't get me wrong. I love Freddy, but... Freddy's more on the comedy side. But there's no comedy about these two right here. So, to see these two beasts go out of head toe-to-toe, -to -toe, cuz, what? Man, 
That'd be sick. This is the cod. I never had this from A and W. Smell like real pistol. Give it a little dipski. All right, let's go in. I mean, it's tasty a bit. I wouldn't order it again. Maybe one more time to, to, to get it fresh. But in my opinion, is way too much bread. The outside of that fish needs to be seasoned way more. That batter is not popping. The fish is thick. It's missing, it, like the sauce too. It's, it needs a better sauce or more sauce. Because it's pretty dry. You're going to have to <clears throat> wash it down a lot. Yeah, I most likely going to get this again. Who was it? Yeah, it was Gilmore Eats. He was doing a review. Excuse me. He was doing a review on fish sandwiches, right? From like McDonald's, Burger King, I think Culver's. I don't think he did an NW one. If they have one, where he's at. Daydream like a mofo. Yeah, <clears throat> I was talking about my boys. You're my boy. <laughs> Both of y'all my boys. But who would you go for though? See? That's tough, dude. The cold thing about it is that old JJ over here, he'll actually laugh and taunt you with that. That's so dope. <laughs> We're saying kill. Somebody was saying he said mommy kill or kill mommy or something like that. I don't hear no mommy in that. I hear laughing. I hear ha 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 ha. I hear kill, 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 kill. And then he's chuckling. Basically. Ooh, that was not good. Ooh, what the hell was that? I want so bad. For this fish burger or sandwich to taste better every bite that I take, but I'm wrong. <laughs> yeah, but Jay entertains you. He kills you hella nasty, and he's big. That's why I like like he's a scary dude, man. Might keep tall. And the newer ones, he's bigger. I might could kill you in some cold blooded fashions too, like that dude he draped up. Of course, he was about to go get his, his, his bone on with his chick, right? Honey, can you make me a sandwich? Sure, honey. Comes downstairs. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Opens a fridge. He's like, ha, 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 ha. Make a little ham sandwich. Grab a little cheese, a little mayo, and singing and stuff like that. And his little tidy whities Close the sandwich. Closes the fridge. Here's something. Close behind him. He's like, Jill, is that you? <laughs> Jill, make me come after you. <laughs> Damn it. Stop it, Jill. Mike got his ass like this up against the wall picks him up knife comes out kitchen knife mind you Wah! right up in dude right it like right in his throat like in his sternum right here in the chest plate and then let's go and dude's like you know like bleeding out and 
dies. And then the camera pads back, and the dude's hanging in midair. Like uh, he, it's like he, 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 he um, push pinned him with the knife and put the knife so hard and so right through this dude, through the door, and pinned him like a, you know, like like, like if you're, uh, you're putting up a sticky note or something. And dude's feet is like two feet off the ground, and then and then Mike was like this. He he killed him and he go. <laughs> you know, like how dogs will get you all crazy. Like if you go mm, to a dog, they go. You know, they turn their head to the. That's how Mike does. But you do it slow, like a pimp. It's like, like, like looking in like amazement, like at his at his artwork <laughs> of killing your ass. <laughs> oh man. So I can imagine how it would be if these two beasts battled, but I don't know, dude. Who, who you think would win? Now, I don't. I want like serious. When you guys hit the comments with seriousness, though, I know we have our favorites, but you gotta kind of put favoritism to the side and just kind of, not kind of. You gotta put your favoritism to the side and do and like who would really win in those fights? They're both possessed, so you can't kill it, but you could put them down. I'm taking this bread off, man. If this bread ain't doing nothing for me, it's irritating me. It's just, look, it's just it look like fish sticks. All right, everything I've ever had from A and W was banging except for this. I don't recommend that at all. Mm -mm. Nope. Hell no to the no 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 hell no. What did I say? Yeah. But here's the thing. You can... Is it like that with Mike when you slip and fall? No. When you slip and fall on Friday the 13th, Jason's right up on you. Even if you're running, he's right up on you. I do the magic. It's like he jumps portals or something. Michael... That fool drops cars. I put a mob off in a bucket and come get your way. He's ski skirt around the corner. Get out, walk up into your kitchen. While you're eating in the next room, grab a kitchen knife, come through, grab you by the head. That's a wrap. <laughs> Other dude's running, trying to get out the door. He's just walking. He look pissed too. Just walk up on you. I just grab you, slap it up, bam. Oh, you see his blood all up on the window. You're dead. <laughs> In the in the Friday the Thirteenth movies are funny because when Jason gets you, <laughs> when he got the psychiatrist in Part Seven, the new blood, cause and the the crooked ass doctor, right? He he took the mom, and Jason had this this uh, it's like this tool. You hold it here by the handle, and it triggers here, right, to squeeze for, to turn the blade on, and it's um. It's gas powered. It's got a long neck like this, and on the end, it's got this about a blade, probably about this round in circumference, right? Cut through wood and all that. So he like this. He, he coming to get old boy like this. He grabs the girl's mom, the psychic chick's mom, and puts her in front. She gets the blunt of it, dude, and he kills her. He thinks he's getting away, right? So this fool's boogieing through the forest. Mind you, this is at nighttime. There ain't no lights on. He boogieing. Think he's safe behind me on a tree like <sighs> of course the camera's panning over his shoulder it's your boy over his shoulder right so he come through he's like no 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 jason's like wow you see the dude just he got him in his nuts dog <laughs> oh, shit. this fool put a blade on his balls i was like D oh my i was cringing dude i was like oh the, the females could cringe too because it's in the crotch area dude he put the blade down like this he was like Vroom. and he was it didn't just he didn't just graze it he put it in you know that thing cut right through him too and just Vroom. he's just driving it in his crotch fool <laughs> oh my god <I'll, laughs> jason i think jason has the craziest kills out of all horror uh people because how about old girl that was in the sleeping bag all butt naked Snoop, is that you? Oh, Snoop, come on. Don't do that. You know I get scared, baby. <laughs> this fool unzipped it. We grabbed the, um, the sleeping bag. 
by the feet, dragged her to this big ass tree and swung her like a baseball bat. Bow! Numerous times, dog. Into the tree. Head first, face first, neck first, teeth first, all that. <laughs> Dude. I don't think Jason kills for humor, but the way he kills is humorous. <laughs> oh man, and the, the best thing about it though is when I reminisce on back in those days, like the 80s, is that those those horror movies were classic. Even if some of them were a little bit corny or whatever, it still was entertaining. Um, Halloween was entertaining. I don't know what the hell is up with part three because that has nothing to do with the series. That was hella janky. But those kills are dope, man. But the Laurie Strode, uh, who's played by Jamie Lee Curtis, her character reminds me of uh, her character reminds me of Sarah Connor for some reason. That militant woman you know got her head on thinking and everybody else is just doing bullshit she's always two steps ahead of the game and how she sets up her brother or quote unquote brother how she sets up michael in that last movie oh that movie, i rec highly recommend you guys watch that last halloween it's the bet one of the best halloweens i've ever seen spoiler alert if you haven't seen it you might want to just pause this part but how she she had that cabin or that house or whatever out in the way out in the woods. And she had the whole perimeter on lock, like lights everywhere, right? But you can't see it. You don't know it's there. And so when you go into the house, every single room is rigged. She got everything rigged, right? Which is so dope. And then she has like my kitchen downstairs, like you have like the counters that go all the way around the stove in the center. Over here is more counter than you have the sink. And you have the dishwasher. And then in the center of all that floor, there's an island, right? Where you can chop stuff up. Her island, when you grab it and move the top of it, the whole thing slides open. And there's stairs that goes down to the bottom, right? It's like a basement. And she got all kinds of straps down there, dog. Hella guns. Um, everything she needs to destroy this food, right? Basically. And it's just so sick how she does it, dude. And she taught her daughter... Right, and there's this one scene where Mike thinks he got her right, cause she's like, "Oh my god, no, no, oh my god, oh my god," like you know, acting like typical like that. And she goes, she and she opens her eyes like psych and starts blasting him, blow, lights lights him up, right, and then uh, they light his ass on fire. Anyway, that movie hella dope. <clears throat> gotta gotta check it out. Now I'm just gonna take another bite. That fish is good by itself. Yeah. But as you guys can tell, I'm highly into that. So I hope that they bring that. I'm gonna look that up after I clip from here in this video. Oh. A good movie chat. See how much of a nerd I turn into? When it comes to movies and shows and all that oh man all right you guys yeah so just comment down below let me know who's your favorite slasher what's your favorite slasher flick and why and if you have any information let me know about this but what do you think about this this matchup next they could be dope with the right people behind it the way they did Freddy vs. Jason, I think it'd be way dope. And I hope so, man. Because I don't know who I would choose. I know you're like, Snoop, who would you choose? Ah, they're both my homies, though. I love both of them, man. Oh, I don't even know. I don't even know. And that was a tough one for me when it came to him and uh, Freddy, too. Because I love both of them. Ah, that's tough, dude. I'd have to at least see the cast first. I'd have to see the trailer first. Because I think your character could get thrown off. Like, if they don't bring back Hodge to play uh, Jason, then I wouldn't take, uh, take Mike. If they don't bring that big dude back to pl that played Michael, 
You can't put no small dudes in, in no costumes for them. Excuse me. You, you got to be six plus, six three, six five. Big. Like I said, Michael's not that big, but still like in, in muscle. But he's tall. You know, broad and just kind of mechanical and just straight stone cold killer. You feel me? Anyway, well, that's my spiel and my talk about that. Uh, I, and one more thing before I go, I know this is gonna be like a 30 minute video, but I gotta say this, like I know the coronavirus thing is running rampant or whatever, and a lot of people are losing their shit. But look, man, um, you know, y'all gotta study more and, 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 and calm down and just relax. Toilet paper's not gonna save your life. Just relax, take care of your immune system, build it up with vitamin C, eat um, ginger. Raw ginger is good, they have ginger teas. Um, anything that boosts your immune system, oranges, lime, turmeric, cayenne pepper, there's all different types of recipes out there. I know about all of this stuff, not just from a, a cook aspect, but because of my roots, we're heavy into herbs, heavy into like medicine, natural medicines and stuff like that. So <clears throat> I'm 42 years old, you know what I'm saying? And even though I don't upkeep myself the way I really should, I still upkeep myself and this is what you get. But can you imagine if I continued my gym every single day and, and just uh, upgraded my diet like how it used to be times two? I plan on doing that as soon as my foot fully recovers. So anyway, my point is just just eat right. Stop stressing. Stop worrying because stress and worrying. If your ass got it, you got it. <clears throat> your stress and worry is not going to cure you. <laughs> All right. So. You know, there's nothing wrong with stocking up on toilet paper too. But I tell you, man, I a lot of people don't understand why people are getting so much toilet paper. I'll tell you what. First of all, it's good to have stock, but for, it's like this. If and when they do shut down everything for, for about a two weeks is what they're saying minimum. This is safe. 14 days, right? Yeah. Or let's say, let's say 20 days. You got to be indoors. Quarantine, right? Until this shit blows over. That's 20 days of you eating canned goods. And you know you're going to have some junk food too. So you're going to be shitting all over the place. So yeah, you're going to need some shit tickets. So <laughs> my advice to you is go to the dollar store if you get a chance. And just stock up on the wipes. They're like three bucks for a pack like this thick. And they last a while if you know how to wipe properly. So listen, man. Look, just make sure. Just wipe your ass. Say your prayers. Everything going to be all right. All right? And if not, you got the other realm to look forward to. We're going to meet up over there anyway. All right? So look, just, just keep your head up. All right? I love y'all, man. Hope you guys have a great day. Until the next one, keep it crispy, keep it organic. I love you guys. Stay blessed. Peace out.